Hey everybody, it's Daryl back again. Uh, I wanted to do a quick little video on, we're doing a conversion kit. We're putting uh, the, let's see, the Halo lighting technologies. We're gonna use these to replace our uh, fluorescent bulbs. This is the wiring diagram on it. Now what this wiring diagram means, let me get my finger over here. The L is your line or your hot wire and your end is your neutral. And if you'll notice, your line goes into one side and your neutral goes into the other. So what that means is, this is a 120 volt uh, setup. You actually take the ballast out, which I've already done. I started, I decided to do a video on this a little bit late. But your ballast is normally here. On this one, you've got uh, two wires that go to your far end and then over here on this end, try not to get you too dizzy. You got a red wire and a blue wire down here now the way these work out is you've just got a connection on one end if you'll notice there's no wires on this end so the no wires where's my finger at the no wires on this end will be on the far end down here these are i'm just going to roll up and make sure that they don't make any connection onto the thing because i don't have any small wire nets with me that's small enough to put on those and over here on this end, what I'm gonna to have to do, cause the way these uh, lights are, I'll show you in a minute. But the way these lights are, there's a strip on the top side or what should be the top side is where the LEDs are at. And you have to uh, do opposites. So on one of them, this is gonna be the hot and this one's gonna be the neutral. And on the other side, this one's gonna be the hot and this one's gonna be the neutral. That way the, the LEDs line up across the top. Uh, let me get this bulb out of the package and I'll show you what we're talking about. All right, so here's what your bulb looks like. And what I was saying a while ago, let's get a focus. You got an N and an L on here. So what you want to do is make sure that N and L lines up where the, uh, the strip will be at the top. So in this instance, the neutral needs to be on the left and the hot needs to be on the right. So... I'm gonna wire this stuff up and then I'll show you what we're doing. All right, so here's what we got. This blue wire right here and this red wire are my neutrals. And when I say neutrals, if you'll notice, we'll come back, they're tied into the white wire. Your white wire is your neutral wire when you're dealing with 120 volts in the United States. Now, of course, overseas, they got different colors, different things, different plugs, all that good stuff. But see, when we put this light bulb up here now, your N's going to be on this side, and your L's going to be on this side. Your N's going to be on this side, and your L's going to be on that side. So let's hook the uh, hot wire up. We'll put these bulbs in here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you do, pro when you do projects, this is a little tip. Always twist your wires together. That way, when you put them under the wire nut, they'll stay together like they're supposed to be, and you won't have the light put back together and end up the light not working because you don't have a good connection. That is a tip, follow it, trust me, believe me, because I've done it before. So we got everything hooked up, black and white, all that good stuff. You take these wires, there's a little bit of slack in these and wrap them. You don't want to pull them too tight without the belly pan on there because uh, your wires will catch. When you put your belly pan back on, you want to make sure these wires are in the center. That way you're not catching on a thing because you do not want to ground these out because you got 120 volts running through these now. That will make an ugly spark and you will be seeing blue dots for probably 30 minutes to an hour. So let's put this pan back on here and uh, light them up. Like I said, on this end, we don't really hook anything up, but uh, make sure that these wires are stuck somewhere where you don't have to worry about them grabbing out. And if you cut your wires long enough, you can actually stick them back in on yourself. So let's put the belly pan in and uh, get them fired up. Belly pan is in. You want to make sure those wires are tucked in like that. If they're pulled up and up under here, eventually they, with vibrations or anything like that, it could short out. So there we go. Everything's good. This was a last minute video. I would normally have my video camera with me, but I forgot to get it. So what we're gonna do, it won't focus. Neutral's on the right, 
that's on the left. Yeah. Put it in. Hold on, man. The way these bulbs is, you stick them in and you rotate them. Just like that. See who that is? Now the way these light bulbs work is uh, you got those two pins there and when you put them in, you put the pins in like that and then when you turn them, you lock them in. Uh, that's how these keystones work. But if you'll notice, there's a sticker on the back of this and if you turn it around, that's where the LED strip's at. So they have to go up or these have to be facing up. So they have to go in the fixture straight up like that. So let's put these back in, put the top back on it, and call this job a done job. There that is. Looking good. If it's probably like anything else, they got to break in just a little bit, and they'll probably get a little bit brighter. Uh, these fixtures here, uh, in order to get the, uh, the, the lens off of it, you have to take one of the ends off. Now some of the other ones, you don't have to do that. They actually hang on to the side of the thing right here. It just depends on which light it is. Now, whatever fixture is gonna be different, uh, but the concept's gonna be the same uh, as far as wiring it. I know these lights, you know, the hookup's on one end and there's nothing on the other end. Uh, the LED bulbs that you order might be a little different than that, but just remember that the line side is your black wire and your neutral is gonna be your white on your hookup. As far as the way you wire, we call those keystones. Uh, the wire colors doesn't matter. You just need to remember which way they go. Uh, you could probably take a Sharpie and label these. This would be the, the L and then put an N on this side on the keystone. But since this is my mother's house and I'm the only one that does electrical work over here, I'm not really worried about it. So uh, there you go. We're gonna button her back up and uh, I'll show you the view from the bottom. So there you go. Installed LEDs. These are the replacements for the fluorescence. Let me straighten my hat up. I think my head's crooked because it seems like every time I put a hat on, it don't want to stay straight. In about 15 minutes, it'll be crooked again. But that's how you put these uh, LED conversion kits up. They're pretty simple. Uh, the reason why we're doing it is because those ballast and those bulbs, they're slowly uh, phasing those out, especially the big ones. Uh, the T10s, I think is what they are, or T8s. I don't remember. No, they're the 10s, 10s or the 12s, T12s, T12s. I'll get it right here in a little bit. The T12s are the big bulbs. The uh, eight footers, I know they're phasing them out slowly and it won't be long before these four footers are gonna be phased out too. But uh, I bought these bulbs actually locally from a place here in Fayetteville. Uh, I think they were my price, about four to six bucks a piece. So they're cheap. Uh, the advantage of taking the fluorescence out and putting those in is the main thing is cost effective. Uh, these are a whole lot cheaper. Uh, estimated energy cost per year is a dollar and 81 cent. Now I don't know if that's running it all day every day or just general usage, but uh, it's pretty cool. Pretty simple to hook up. I would say pretty much anybody can do it. As long as the light switch is off, you should be all right. But if you're not real sure, you probably want to cut the power off to that circuit before you do it. So uh, hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you got any questions on it or whatever, just leave them in the comments below. I'm normally pretty good about answering my comments pretty quick. So hope everybody's doing good. Uh, I'm hoping to have some more videos out here before too long. Uh, been busy at work or whatever, and uh, this ain't a beekeeping video, but maybe you'll learn from it. So hope y'all doing good. We'll see you on the next one.